And these, when you see them, you're you're done because I don't think there's any other tumor th that I've ever seen that looks like this, except for tenosynovial giant cell tumor, either the localized giant cell tumor tendon sheath form or the diffuse form that occurs in the uh, deep down in the joint, uh, the more proximal joints called uh, pigment of villanodular synovitis, which we're not going to go into really today because it's outside the scope of derm path. But hemocyte in that position is really common in tenosynovial giant cell tumors in giant cell tumor of tendon sheath. And sometimes it arranges itself inside the plasmacytoid or rhabdoid histiocytoid cells, the tumor cells, in a way that looks like a halo of hemocytorin around the outside of the cytoplasm. And it's so beautiful. If you don't like that, I don't know how to make you happy. I mean, I just think those are the coolest looking cells. And, um, and uh, some people have called these ladybird cells. I think in the United States, we call those ladybugs, but I guess, I guess these look kind of like a ladybug maybe. Um, uh, to me, I don't know. I think they look like halos of hemocytorin, but, but uh, other folks have called them ladybird cells or ladybug cells, I guess, if you're an American. And uh, look for foamy histiocytes, xanthoma cells, not always present, but oftentimes you'll find them, particularly around the periphery of the lesion, I feel, is when you see it, uh, most abundant of foamy histiocytes. So, uh, and there's just a little uh, a thing about it. if it's a small circumscribed nodule on the distal extremity, particularly it's called the localized form of tenosynovial giant cell tumor, and the other name for that's giant cell tumor of tendon sheath. If it's a large, deep infiltrative mass, usually around the more proximal larger joints, then we call it the diffuse type of tenosynovial giant cell tumor, aka pigment of villanodular synovitis when it's in a joint space. Uh, if you just do derm path only, you're basically never going to see this, probably only going to see giant cell tumor, tendon sheath, localized form, and even then, it's only going to be rarely you'll encounter it. But they're basically, the only reason I bring them up is they're the same tumor, just different presentations, different growth patterns, but at higher power, they look identical, okay? They're made up of the same kind of cells. All right, and I have videos about all that that, that go over that in detail if you need, uh, if you need to see that, okay?